In this math counts preparation lesson, we're going to be exploring a common type of math counts problem. It's counting the number of paths on a, on a grid, whether it be a rectangular grid or a weird looking grid like this. Now in the probability and combinatorics lesson, I showed everyone counting on a grid, which was basically something like this, if you ever saw the probability and combinatorics video, which you should watch the previous videos on probability and combinatorics, but if you already know, like, rectangular grid counting, like, I'm just gonna throw out a vague example. So, if we have something like this, and let's say you want to get from, like, I know this point, let's call this point A, and if we call this point right here B, then they're, they're like these problems where they want, to, they want to count how many ways to get from A to B. And we saw uh, some good problems like this. So basically, um, on a rectangular grid, all you need to do is you just need to count the edges. So over here to get to B, so we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You can also imagine this is a coordinate system, but I'm not going to get into that. But so there's actually a formal, like a formula for this, which if you have a point x, y, it's just x plus y, choose y or choose x. I forgot what it was, but you don't need the formula. You just need to just do this. So it's just what it's. I, this is actually an application of the formula, whatever. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and six, since it's three by three, three plus three is six. And then you just need to choose any one of these sides. So it's one, two, three. Over here, it's one, two, three. So both are the same. So it's going to be six, choose three. Since this is a square, so. And then you need to compute six, choose three. And that's your answer. So yeah, it's obviously that's just how it works. And then 20 will be our answer for the number of paths. So that's a good way to do the grid counting method but now we have stuff like this how many distinct paths are possible from point a to point b going only up up and to the right so um here it seems a little bit harder i mean it's not that hard we can just go ahead and use the same trick right we can just say let's count the edges one two three four five and then we have 5, and then 1, 2, 3, so 5 plus 3 is just 8, right? And then you have 8, and then you just, what do you do? 1, 2, 3, is the, so 8 choose 5 is the same as 8 choose 3, so we can just do 8 choose 3. And now we have 8 times 7 times 6 over 3 times 2 times 1. 3 and the 2, they cancel. 56. Hmm. And this might be a little bit convincing, but let's just go back over here. What's the difference between this and this? Well, you would say that the size of the blocks, right? This is a 3x3. Three three. This is a, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. 1, 2. This isn't even a rectangle, okay? So this simple 6, 8 choose 3 way won't work here. So we can't use this 8 choose 3 way on this problem. So we're going to have to find a better way. And nowadays there's tricks for everything. People have found out tricks for everything. But there isn't a good trick for this. There isn't really a good trick for this. I mean, we could just list the paths out, right? We can just do this. We can go like over here and then up to B. Or we could go over here and then go along the edges and up to B. Or we could go inside and then we can go there, 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 there. That's one, two, three. We can go here, we can go here, we can go here, we can go here. Or we could, no. So there are a lot of paths. So the listing won't work. It's not big, it's too big to list. We could try to break it up into smaller pieces. I see a square up here, a rectangle, and a small square up there, but then we'd have two possibilities, and that leads to cases, and then you have to add, no. 
So I think the best way here is we're just going to shrink the problem down. Whenever we have a counting a combinatorics problem, which we don't know how to do, you always you always want to shrink the problem down and consider the smallest case and just go from work your way up from there. And this is honestly like, I guess, recursion, but whatever. So let's just go aim for this point right here. So this point, how many ways are there to, to get from this point? Not to B, that's too far, but just to A. There's only one way, just go back here. Remember, only up and to the right, so we can't just go like that. Because then, to get from A to here, we can't go like here, here, and then down. We can't go down. So any way that's going down is not allowed. Okay, so we have one for this point. Now let's aim, let's go for this point right here. So from this point, from this point, we can just go down like this. And we're, we can go down because from A, we just go up one. So there's one way to get back to A. And now let's make things a little bit better. Let's go to this point. Let's go to this point. From this point, well, we already know this is just a square. So we can either go here, here, or here, here. So there's two ways. And now let's aim for this point. This point, well, there's only one way back. And anything in this row, this row of squares down here, there's only one way. Or rectangles or whatever. So there's one, this row of rectangles, there's only one way back here. And that goes for each of these points. Over here. Now, let's aim for this point. So for this point, we could use, because since it's a rectangle, we could just use our three choose one or whatever trick but i just see you can either go here and there's one way here there's two ways so it's one plus two is just three so there are three ways for this one you can just verify because here's one two three three choose one We're using our strategy over here but just with a smaller one over here now we've already covered those points let's aim for this point up here and for this point you can either go down that's one or over over here to the left which is three plus one is four and again, you can verify since there's three rectangles and there's one side over here. So it's three plus one is four, four choose one is four. So now let's aim for this point right over here. Now for this point, there's only, we can just go down and that's it. So there's only, you can just go down, there's just four ways to do that. And then let's aim for this point right over here. So for this point, we can either go down, that's one way, or over here to the left. So 4 plus 1 is 5. And now we can aim for this point. So for this point, we can go over here, or here, 5 and 1 is 6. Aim for this point, go here, here, 4 and 5 is 9. Here or here, and then now we can just keep doing this point over here. We can either go down, which is 6 ways, and over here there's 9 ways, 9 and 6 gives me 15. And now we're almost there for this point. Now for this point, all we go do is we can go down and that's really it. So once we're down, there's nine ways. So this is just nine. And now from B, which is the point we want from this B right here, we can just either go down and there's 15 ways or over here to the left. So the answer is just 15 plus nine. So 15 plus 5 is 20, 20 plus 4 is 24. So that means there should be 24 ways over here. So that means our answer is 24. So we kind of like work this almost like a recursive strategy over here. And you might say, oh, this takes too long. Once you, I'm going to tell you, once you get used to this, this will take like a very, this will take maybe under a minute. You'll, you'll just know, oh, two, two, three, four. And you can recognize patterns, like over here, it's like this. Over here, you can't really find any good patterns, but over here, you can label these as ones and twos. And this is helpful when we have restrictions. It's like, like let's say we couldn't pass through a point. And we'll go, in the next video, I'm actually going to cover, like, counting paths on a grid with restrictions. But we're not there yet, but that gets so easy with this method. So this method is good when you have these irregular shapes. But then when you have these rectang rectangles, you can just go ahead and use the 6 choose 3 method. So yeah, now let's move on to more squares, or rectangles, or whatever. So we're trying to get from A to B. Now I do see a rectangle here, and I can try to find some 
of bigger strategies, especially because this method, you might think it's going to take a long time. And let's see how much time it takes. We're not taking the competition, so we're not in the competition, so we're just going to take it slow. Just take it slow. We're going to see how long this takes. And I want you to go ahead and see how long it takes. Speed through. How long does it take with this method? And you won't get it eventually, instantly. It takes practice. So we're going to get from A to B using this recursive method. We're going to go up and up and up until we get to B. Alright, we're going to get all the way to B. So, let's go ahead and do that. So, I instantly see that these points, it's all one. So, I can just label these points as one. There's one way to get back to point A. From this point up here, there's only one way. And I'm just going to label these points. There we go. So each of these points, there's one way to get back to A. And over here, it's 1 plus 1 is 2. Over here is 2 plus 1 is 3. Over here, 3 plus 1 is 4. Over here, we can go down and over. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 and 1 is 6. Then we can go down, or here, 6 and 1 is 7. Now for this point, we can go over here, over here, this is 8. And you can verify this, because this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 8, so it's 8, choose 1, which is 8. So we're good over here. Now let's aim for this point. So on this point, you just go down, and there's 8 ways since again i forgot to like say the this is the same restrictions as this problem so you can only go up or to the right so the same restrictions apply for this problem and, and in fact i'm not sure if i've seen any problem where there's no restrictions like that because otherwise it'd be very hard to count so go down eight now i'm gonna aim for this point since we can do this you can go one eight eight and one is nine we can keep going on this row actually. So over here, this is 10. This is 10, one is 11. Over here, it's 12. So we've counted that. Now we can aim for these points up here. Now for these points, if we go down, there's nine. Go over, there's eight. So nine, eight, 17. Over here, we can go over here, it's 10, 10, 17. So it's 17 plus 10, which is 27. And now we can aim for this point up here, which you just go down verse 27 ways. And then we can go over here. We can go over here, and then we can either go. You can either go over here at the 27 or at the 11. And we have 27 plus 11, so 27 plus 10 is 37. 37 plus 1 is 38. So this must be a 38. And up here we can count this now. So up here we have, we can either go over here or down here. So it's 27 alongside with 38. 8 plus 7 is 15. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. So there's 65 ways up here. Now over here we can count this. We can go down 12, 12 and 38. So it's 38 plus 12, which we can compute this. 38 plus 10 is just okay 38 plus 10 is 48 plus 2 is 50. so this is 50 ways and we can find this point so it's 65 and 50 that's 115 and now we can aim for this point so now for this point we can go down and that's 65 ways and now we can aim for point B. We can either go down 100, uh, 115, or we can go over there, and there's been, we already counted that, that's 65 ways. So 5 plus 5 is 10, 6 and 2 is 8, and that is 1. So it's 5, let's check the addition. So 5 plus 5 is 10, 6, 7, 8, 1, 180 is the answer. If, hopefully I made no addition mistakes, otherwise, but otherwise, the strategy was the correct way. So this is how you're supposed to do it. And obviously, this was a bigger grid, but still, this took 
even with me talking and explaining it, this was pretty, you could have instantly realized these rows are 1, this is increasing all the way to 12, and then all you're left to do is just count these by using addition. You just pair them, and it's just addition from there. So it's a simple way to count the number of paths on a grid by just starting and using a recursive approach. And of course, if it's not a rectangle, if it's a rectangle, then just go ahead and use the, that approach. You can also use the rectangle method to check your answer. So like over here, this is 12. So over here, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then we have over here is 1. So it's 12 choose 1, which is 12. And same here, this is 12 choose 1, this is 11 choose 1, this is 10 choose 1, 9 choose 1, 8 choose 1. Or if you want to count that, so it's 8 choose 7, 6, 7 choose 6, 6 choose 5, 5 choose 4, 4 choose 3, 3 choose 2. And then you obviously have that. So it's 2 choose 1, and then it's just 1 choose 1. So obviously it just goes like that. So you can obviously use um, regular combinatorics to check it, or yeah. So that's more of the recursive approach. It doesn't take that long once you get used to it. So just keep practicing using grids. Make up your own grids. Practice, 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 and eventually it's going to become easy.